Let's have a look at the Telegraph first of all. A U-turn on mandatory jabs for NHS workers. This is something we're talking about today as well. Uh, the paper reports that the Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, is considering that move in England after being warned that the NHS could face crippling staff shortages. Let's look at the mirror now, and that's the arrest of Manchester United footballer Mason Greenwood on suspicion of rape and assault. That's on their front page. The paper says the 20-year-old was questioned in custody after images and videos appeared on social media alongside claims he had attacked a woman. Uh, the Guardian carries a picture of Rafa Nadal. What a match that oh, was. Here. What a final. It was mad. Uh, who's become the most successful men's tennis player of all time. Uh, he won the Aussie Open, and that's his 21st Grand Slam title. It was level with Rafa Nadal and Novak Djokovic on 20. The paper also reports that Boris Roger Johnson... Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic. What did I say? Rafa Johnson. Nadal. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Roger Johnson, Rafa Nadal. <laughs> <laughs> Rafa was level with Rafa Nadal. <laughs> what you you meant Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic. I said Roger Johnson. And then you said Roger Johnson. <laughs> Who presents his programme sometimes. Yeah. Do you know he's won 20 Grand Slams? <laughs> Uh, the paper also reports that <laughs> Boris Johnson, it's because it's Boris Johnson, yeah. uh, will try to seize back control this week with a string of high-profile announcements <laughs> and photo opportunities on issues including Brexit, Ukraine and the cost of the living crisis. Now, one of those announcements makes the front page of the Daily Mail in an article to mark the second anniversary of the UK's exit from the EU. Boris Johnson unveils plans for a new Brexit freedoms bill, which the paper says would slash red tape and boost trade. <laughs> Have you recovered? Yeah. Sorry about that. So, it is only 19 minutes past six. Oh, one no. of those mornings. Oh, I don't, it I, is, I don't isn't know why it? I said Roger Johnson. Quite, <laughs> I quite clearly know that his name's Roger Federer. I've got his cardigan, you know, Roger Federer. You haven't. I have. When, um, How did you do that? Well, I would never thought he was a cardigan well, sort of a man. Wimbledon. Do you remember he had, he had this beautiful cardigan made with like gold inlay? And I did an interview with him and I said, have you got another one of them? And he said, yes, I have, actually. So we both wore his cardigan for the no. interview. It's and quite heavy, said, isn't it? Isn't it a bit more like a coat? It's quite. Chunky. Uh, yes, it's, it had a significant tog on it, yeah. That's it? Yeah. I'd like to see a picture of that. I did tell him that I'd wear it the next time I played tennis, but I don't think I've played tennis since, so... And you can't turn up, you can't turn up with a Roger Federer cardigan no, on, can you? You're morning. really good. Morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Roger's just lent me his top. Yeah.